Shawnee with simplysimplestamping.com. Thank you guys so much for being here today. And hey, thank you guys so much for subscribing. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the paper crafting and rubber stamping ideas shared here on my channel. I really appreciate that. If you haven't already subscribed, it's easy. Just click that subscribe button so you'll get notifications of when I have my next video. But today's video, we're going to be focusing on this really great uh, birthday card. Guys, this one is so easy. I love the bright colors. I love Flirty Flamingo. It's one of my favorites. Little pop of black really makes this card fabulous. Of course, change the colors to anything that you want. It's a simple card. Let me show you how to do it. I chose Blow Out the Candles as my stamp set today. It's a photopolymer set. Fabulous one. We're going to use a lot of pieces from this set. Let's talk about the card stock we're going to use. Flirty Flamingo is my color of choice today. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have two pieces of Whisper White. The first one is three and three quarters by five inch. I've got another piece here that is three and three quarters by one and three quarters. I've also got a piece of basic black that's going to layer behind, and that piece is three and three quarters by one and five eighths. All right, let's get to stamping. I'll be using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad and a Flirty Flamingo ink pad. We're gonna go ahead and start with some of this basic black. And I'm going to begin by stamping Eat Cake and Enjoy Your Day. We're gonna stamp this right down here at the bottom of our Whisper White. I'm now going to come in with the balloon. We'll ink that up. We're actually going to be stamping this three times. So I'm going to stamp once all the way over to the right. I'll stamp again and I'm going to bring it down. And one more time, maybe somewhere in between. I'm now going to bring in that smaller piece of Whisper White and we're going to ink up the cake. And we're going to stamp that there on the left side. Now let's come in with the Flirty Flamingo ink pad. And we're going to take that great big happy birthday. Let's stamp that right here. And now we can stamp our balloons. We'll take that solid balloon image. And what we're going to do is we're going to stamp it once inside a balloon. We're not going to re-ink and we're going to stamp it again. See how that gives me that nice lighter color? I like that, that gives me some nice shading. And we'll ink up and we're going to stamp the other balloon. Now to stamp on this cake, I'm going to ink up the uh, actual cake part and I'm going to stamp off just like I did before. That's gonna give me that lighter pink color. We'll stamp right inside the cake. And now with the ooey gooey frosting, we'll fill that in just like so. It's time to put our card together. I've got some snail adhesive here on the back of my card. Look, I almost did it upside down. Let's adhere that right here in the center of our flirty flamingo. I can adhere that whisper white right here in the center of the basic black. I've got Stampin' Dimensionals here on the back of my sentiment. And I want you to adhere that all the way over to the left side of the card. Now we can come in with our mini glue dots and I have got a little piece of the black glittered organza ribbon. I've just tied it in a knot. We're going to add that right here on the side. I'm now going to come in with some adhesive back uh, sequins. I think this just gives the card, I don't know, just that party feel. So a few around the balloons, and oh, let's go ahead and just add one more right there. Guys, such a fast and easy card. I love how this one came out. Wonderful card, easy peasy and super simple. I know that's what you guys like, I know I do too. Especially when we're in a hurry, we need these cards just like this one that you can make in a hurry and get in the mail so it doesn't become one of those belated birthday cards. Somebody's with me, right? <laughs> well, listen, if you want more information about today's card, here's what you can do. Head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the December 27th, 2018 blog post. That's where I'll have all the information on the cards. You can grab those measurements if you missed them. Um, and if you'd like to order any of the supplies I used on the card, it's so easy. Just click a pick. It'll take you right to my online store so that you can order the things that you need. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's card. I sure enjoy creating it for you. Remember, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, just click that little red subscribe button so you'll get notifications every time I have a new video for you. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of the video today. I hope you have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon.